Alright, this is going to be a very quick video, but basically we will be setting up how we will be doing our weapons and items equipping in our game. Because I'm not the smartest, and I can't figure out inventory 2 module for game creator. All of our inventory will be done using the stats module. So, in order to do that, I have created already for myself, and I want you guys to do the same. So under your player, assuming you have player class and your attributes, because if you haven't, then I don't even know what you're doing this far in the series, but where we have our health, stamina, hunger, thirst, all that stuff, I have created for my weapons. I went ahead and did 10 weapons per. So you want to go ahead and create... Um, the important one's called weapon equip attribute and then you know you set your max equip weapon stat I only have 10 so I'm gonna do 10 um, and for weapons like individual weapons like weapon one would probably be like unarmed fist or like a small dagger or something the max one will only be one you can only own one of them there's no point of having multiple, unless you're like looking to sell them or something and you want to stockpile them in your inventory. Then you can add more base value, but I'm only doing one per for each. And then you just want to make sure that each of them is to the corresponding max value. So that's what I did for weapons. Same thing for torsos, because I'm doing multi-armor layers. If you're just doing outfits because you don't have like an expensive package, then you can combine your torsos and legs to just one called outfit instead and again you know you want your torso equipped max torso equipped and you know go all the way from yeah however many you expect to put in your game and yeah I did that for I also did materials too I'm gonna set up so my idea for this is I'm gonna have like raw materials such as wood stone or cloth and then at a point I'm gonna upgrade them so our wood will turn to planks our stone will turn to bricks and or to ingots and then I have gold for a currency as well I've set my max materials to 10,000 almost and then max gold to almost a million so I'm just giving you a quick preview of what I'm gonna be adding into this and then my legs, my helmets, my back, and then my attributes. So, yeah, that's what I want you guys to, if you're going to follow me this way, or unless you know how to make your own inventory system using inventory too, I mean, hook me up, sh tell me how. But in the meantime, we're going to add these into our player class. So this is going to take me a while. I'll come back and show you what it looks like after. Alright, this is what it's starting to look like for me now, so instead of just my four attributes, I now have all my materials and currencies up to until this point. And then I've done just only my weapons for now, so my weapon equip, and then weapons 1 through 10, and then I added the max versions of each as well. I am going to be adding all my torsos, legs, helmets, and backs to this as well, but I will do that later down the road in another video. Just wanted to give you guys a quick idea of how we will be setting up. I guess like the foundations to our equip inventory and how to equip them so a quick explanation on how that's gonna work too so my weapons and the weapon equip so the weapon equip will determine so max weapon equipped is 10 right so if your weapon equip is set to 1 out of 10 then your weapon 1 will be equipped max weapon 2 or weapon equipped 2 out of 10 will be weapon 2 and so on and so forth all the way to 10 and for weapon 1 to, through 10 you can only have one version of each so if your max weapon or if your weapon 1 is 0 out of 1 then you do not own weapon 1 if it is 1 out of 1 then you own weapon 1 and it will appear in your inventory so we can either get that through looting or shops and I'm thinking about doing shops or even crafting too some some might be craftable through the materials so that's a quick explanation on how that's going to work 
this is just a short video just wanted you guys to set yourself up that way so any item in the game that you think you will have put it in through stats if you're doing it my way and that goes the same for even consumables that's just something I haven't added yet it is something I'm going to do so let's pretend like I've done it so let's just say this is consumable so you would have well you wouldn't really need the equip button for those but say so my back one here my back one is let's just say bandages okay and then max bandages I would have maybe five max bandages and then so I could only hold five at a time and maybe some kind of med kit a bigger version of the bandage I would dumb down to maybe three at most and then food you know five food at a time and five drinks at a time etc again we'll be getting into all that later but just a quick explanation on the idea behind my madness it's a bit of a grind to add all those stats in but once you do it's actually cool because you can transfer them between projects just by dragging and dropping the folder into your other folder so yeah it, it works it works pretty damn well actually especially if you can't figure inventory 2 out like most people that I talk to can't seem to figure it out either there's just not enough information on it I've tried to sit down and do it many times but it just it doesn't work for me so eventually I will but for now this is the way we're doing it and that will be the end of this quick video so yeah good luck and see you in the next one